Over the next two weeks, Bloomberg News will be rolling out its series on the future of investing, capturing the convergence of technology and investing. An example of this, J.P. Morgan Chase's purchase of the online payment service WePay. Under the deal, the startup gains millions of Chase's small business customers, and the biggest bank in the U.S. can build out its relationship with startups in Silicon Valley. Here to discuss, we are joined by WePay CEO and co-founder Bill Clarico. So Chase first approached you about a year ago. You know, talk to us about the terms of the deal. What can you share? Yeah, it was actually about a year to the day when we mm. closed was our first visit uh, on site. And it was just a great process of getting to know each other and a shared vision on the market, a shared strategy. And um, we're not really commenting on the, the details of the, the transaction, but we think it was a win for everyone involved. So how does this expand your business and theirs? Yeah, a couple things. I mean, for us, it's, you know, at a high level, it's about combining the technology of a Silicon Valley startup and the technical talent there with the, you know, the scale, the brand, the distribution of one of the world's largest financial institutions. So uh, so, right, talk to us then about how this fits into the broader U.S. financial landscape. Sure. So, you know, the payments industry is really being completely disrupted by technology. You know, historically, payments were sold door to door, sort of bricks and, and terminals uh, being sold to restaurants and small businesses. Today, all that's happening through software. And so, banks are having to partner with software companies to distribute payment processing technology. And what WePay does is we make that easy for our software partners to embed WePay into the uh, into those products. How might this help you take on competition like Square, for example? Yeah, so we don't actually even really view Square as a direct competitor. You know, Square also serves small businesses and helps them process payments, um, but really we're enabling other software uh, companies to build Square-like experiences um, and serve small businesses. So we don't really directly compete with them. You know, we're, there are a lot of you know, fascinating tech trends happening right now and very quickly. AI, the rise of AI, uh, the rise of blockchain. How do you expect that to impact the financial industry? Yeah, I think it's still really early days for a lot of these technologies. In our business, we use AI to fight fraud, and that protects our uh, end small business and also lets us deliver an easier sign-up experience with less data. So we're seeing early days, some really great signs and great applications of those technologies, but still early days in, in terms of what's to come. You've said uh, you're in charge with helping JP Morgan State, JP Morgan build out their Silicon Valley presence yep. how how do you ex expect to do that yeah well we're here in this like crazy talent market right and within 20 square miles of where we're sitting there's some of the best technology employers in the world um, and so part of what we're helping do is bring the culture and sort of expertise in hiring top technical talent here in Silicon Valley and helping the bank uh, understand that and really embrace that how do you attract them though when they could work at Google or Facebook or Apple or yeah, for Airbnb. us, I think for us it's about real impact for real small businesses, right? Helping a small business owner get paid faster and take a lot of friction out of their day-to-day -day life, I think is really meaningful and really, in my opinion, more meaningful than, you know, helping optimize some small piece of some ad optimization engine. And so really we sell impact in, in the mission that we're, that we're about. Um, you guys also help process payments for crowdfunding, mm -hmm. you know, which is unique. Mm -hmm. How, where do you see that going? Yeah, so crowdfunding is one of the first sort of technology verticals that we started to play in. And we really had to build our technology to make it super easy because there it wasn't even a small business owner. It was a consumer trying to accept payments. Um, and so we built a lot of our technology to make it super simple for everyday people to use. Uh, and now have been applying that in bigger and bigger small businesses. We think, you know, it'll continue to be an interesting market for years to come. We talked about blockchain earlier. What about Bitcoin? I mean, you know, every day we're sort of <laughs> debating the hype, uh, the skepticism around it. The, the, you know, what impact will it have? Is it a bubble? Is it a fraud? Which one is it? Yeah. What do you think? I think when you talk to small business owners, really they're thinking about how do they perform great services and sell great products to their customers and get paid quickly and easily. And the credit card system is a great system uh, for that. Uh, I think as we think about Bitcoin and the future of sort of digital payments, hopefully there'll be ways to speed that up, to take costs out of the system. I'm not sure Bitcoin is the tool for small businesses just yet, but uh, certainly lots of interesting things happening in that space. Um, you know, when it comes to you know, the tax reform that, that we've been talking about, what impact will that have on your business? Yeah, it's still, I mean, it changes by the second. So I'm sure since we've been sitting here, there's been uh, some updates. Um, you know, I, I think anything, you know, we really ultimately, if small businesses thrive and succeed, uh, that'll be good for us. I think it's still early, too early to tell exactly what, how this legislation will impact that. Though. Okay. Bill Clarico, CEO of WePay. Thanks, Bill, Thanks for, for joining me. us here on the show.